Okay. You guys asked for this. No, really. In my poll about topics for what I should do for the 12 days, this was one of the highest voted options. Plus, a rant sounds really fun. I mean, I try to talk about the good in the anime out there because in my limited time I have to make videos, why waste time talking about stuff I didn't like? But sometimes, well, going off about how something is bad is just good for the soul. Alright, let's do this. Demon Slayer sucks. Shield Hero sucks. Carolyn Tuesday sucks. Dororo sucks. Kaguya-sama sucks. Dr. Stone sucks. Fire Force sucks. Domestic Girlfriend sucks. Okay, maybe that last one isn't a controversial statement, but whatever. All of those anime are just terrible. No one should waste their time on them. They're lackluster, boring, lame, stupid, and bland. They're overhyped garbage. They are devoid of creative merit. They bring shame upon the entire anime community. And most of all, they suck. Okay, yeah, that was an exaggeration meant to get a reaction out of you. Did it work? Truthfully, though, I don't like any of those shows. They were highly acclaimed, so I was eager to try them, and then I found them all to be let down, so I dropped them. Some I even gave a second chance after so many people told me that they were good, only to decide that they aren't worth my time. And that's the key here. Time. I don't have a lot of time for anime, and there are a lot of anime that's coming out, and a lot of really good anime that excites me. This is easily the best year we have had for anime in, well, a long time. Possibly ever. Promise Neverland had an amazing start to a suspense horror anime. Attack on Titan masterfully wrapped up an epic story that's lasted most of the decade. Fruits Basket is the best shoujo I've ever seen, and every episode of My Hero Academia is reminding me why it's my favorite anime of all time. Plus, there have been all these really unique anime, too, like Sarazanmai, Kurimukusa, or Mob Psycho. So with all these great and unique shows setting the bar so high... It's no wonder the other shows fall short. So why bother with the shows that don't stand out? I'm not saying those shows are actually bad. I Many of them do have some appeal to me, but they don't excite me. When I watch them, I feel like I'm watching them just because, or because I feel like I have an obligation to. Now, I do take pride in a YouTuber and trying lots of different things, because I like talking about the cool shows that I find that you might not be aware of. So I want to give things a fair chance before I drop them. But if I'm watching it and hoping that it might become something decent, then why should I bother at that point? I can find much better shows from this year to spend my time on. And that's not even counting the many older shows I haven't seen. This year I was able to take the time to enjoy a number of older shows. Like back after I did my big anime in 2018 video, I took a break from the currently airing shows to go watch Fake Khalid. And I absolutely loved it. You probably know that already. But I also saw Railgun and started Hunter Hunter, both shows that really blew me away. So, yes, maybe I did drop some of these other shows too soon. And maybe I would have come to like them. But would it have been worthwhile to keep going with those and to miss out on those amazing older anime? Probably not. Though, of course, everyone likes different things. So if those shows I dropped you enjoy, go for it. Enjoy them. Nothing wrong with that. It's awesome that you found shows to enjoy. But if you're watching something just because everyone else likes it, why? Life is too short for bad anime. So now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get caught on My Hero Academia because that show is amazing.